mean, is it not lovely? Everyone's doing it in their own separate way, mm. sort of a nod or a curtsy or a bow from mm. many of the military mm. people that are, yep. are filing past there. It means so much to so many people. Joining us now, Sunrise Royal Editor Rob Jobson. Um, Rob, why did the, the Queen's children walk behind her and travel on foot and the rest of the family drove? Well, mainly it was the guys that were, were on foot, apart from the Princess Royal, Princess Anne, who was in military uniform and wanted to march behind her mother's coffin. The others were led by Camilla, the Queen Consort, and Catherine, the Princess of Wales, with the cars. So, if you look, they're all guys that are actually uh, yeah. marching behind the Queen's uh, coffin. It's, there's so much pageantry, isn't it? What, why, does, um, why does this country do this? Well, this is really uh, honouring not only the head of state, but she's the commander in chief of the, the armed forces. So, therefore, this is why it's such a military ceremony. Uh, effectively, you know, you, you're surrounded there by that's why they're all in their uniforms, with the exception of Harry and uh, Andrew weren't allowed to wear them. Really. Couple of questions I'm getting, mm. uh, like, <laughs> from lots of kids who are yeah. really inquisitive. What's the Queen dressed in? Do we know? We don't know. That's something they haven't told us, and. Uh, we won't be told that. I don't okay, know. and this is Good a live question, though, kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a live shot of uh, Westminster Hall. Yeah, the the three different yeah. rings of guards. Yeah, that are um, are standing the vigil there. What what do you they see, represent? You see the ones on the outer rim there. Yeah, like the bee feeders. The, the bee feeders, they? they're cool, but they're the, basically the king's bodyguard going back to, going back to the head days of Henry VIII. That's where that uniform is. It is very oh, sort right. of yeah. Tudor. Then you've got the, um, the ones with the feathers there. They're the gentlemen of arms. They tend to be, the both of those would be retired, proper soldiers, but retired soldiers. Right. And those gentlemen of arms tend to be officers, whereas the beef eaters would not necessarily be officers. Right. And then you've got the, um, the gentlemen archers as well. So it's all, I mean, you can see very clearly that that was quite an old uniform. Yeah, Isn't you know, it? Yeah, they're yeah. incredible. Yeah, but they are. Old soldiers, basically, yeah. retired soldiers. Okay. Right. But these guys, um, the beef, the guys here, right close there, with their hat, the what they call the big, the big fur hats, the hats sort of things. Yeah, they're, they're serving um, grenadier guards, and they will be. This is their ceremonial dress. But of course, they have are serving uh, soldiers, and they they'll be on the front line in Afghanistan or wherever. Right. So, okay. All right. They're okay. not just sort of there for ceremony. Yeah, oh. they're, but they're beautiful ceremonial uniforms, aren't they? Okay. Thank you very much, Rob. We'll talk to you soon.